We're definitely committing to ripping this thing from top to bottom. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. It looks like this water tank is actually quite new. Definitely does not look as old as anything else on the trailer, so hey, we'll take it. Now it's time for the fridge. can't seem to pull the fridge out. It's hooking somewhere on this side. How much do you want to bet this is screwed into there? Or maybe that. Or maybe that. This looks like it's not from the trailer though, so I'm more skeptical about this. You know what, the weather is so nice out right now. Let's take a break. Okay guys, we're on to day four of the RV renovations. A um, little bit of an update, we found holes, we found water damage, we found rot, a whole bunch of nasty little surprises that I guess that's what you get when you buy a camper as is, where is, kind of sight unseen. Um, so I did a little bit of peeking around in the front and there's water damage up there of course so we're definitely committing to ripping this thing from top to bottom to see where we're at um, we took out the fridge we took out the hot water tank we took out the water reservoir man this thing is dirty um, I'm gonna be ripping apart 
the furnace, the little oven stove combo, and some of the counter with the sink. And then hopefully I'll get up to the top there by the end of today and get that squared away. Uh, then I gotta start stripping the wiring out after that. And same with the roof up here. So let's see how far we can get. And let's have fun doing it. Back here is still wet. Oh boy. Okay, so midway point. Um, we're finding lots of surprises. Not surprised though. Uh, so we are just basically, I went up there, I took a look. There's water damage up there too. I was hoping that from about yay to yay, 
up front was going to be okay. Why I was so dumb, I don't know. It's not going to happen. So hopefully, today is Sunday. I'm going to gut most of it, almost all of it today. Get rid of, get rid of a majority of the inside. And then I'll have to accumulate some funds and then I can start fixing. But for now, demo still. It's going to be demo for a while. Friends, what a day it has been. Got a lot done. Uh, ripped apart a lot of stuff. Didn't find as much water damage as I was expecting. Especially not as much as the last time you were watching. So, all things considered, not near as bad as I was, I was starting to freak out there for a bit. I was starting to really feel like it was going to be... I was going to be fixing a lot of the framework in this damn thing. Um, I haven't done the top little bunk area up here yet, but for the most part, the passenger side over there, there's a couple, like three spots where I might need to take a beam out and put another little one back in, or kind of just put something alongside it to kind of add a little bit more. But for the most part, found two or three, I think it was two extra holes that are in the, in the walls. Um, yeah, pretty beat. It was, uh, takes a lot of energy to rip stuff apart. It really does. It feels a lot more open in here, though. Like, look at this place. It's looking really darn good. I definitely like the more open concept already been rolling in my head what I'm planning to do a lot smaller I found this was way way too crammed like yeah it makes sense to have everything like an original motor home wood but this thing is really small compared to the other ones that are 20 foot uh, this one like it's only from from the cab down to the end it's 12, 14 feet. It's really not that big. Like it's, it, I'm very surprised with how small this thing is. Because all of the other motorhomes that I've looked at online or just seen, I don't usually see them this short. So this is an odd one. With my time and being able to make sure that this thing is exactly the way I want it, I consider it to be worth it. It's going to be a lot slower when it comes to building because that's where I'm going to have to start buying stuff. Breaking stuff is free. <laughs> so yeah it's it's a blast though I'm having a lot of fun first I was a little bit freaked out and then I thought you know what I'm just gonna roll with it even if I even the 
this if this thing flops, it's still it's it's a hell of an experience. It's a hell of a time. So yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna make the best out of it. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Till next time.